Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about the review of One Touch Pharmacology, the book that is recently launched, and it is one of the best book that will help you review pharma. This is written by none other than our favorite faculty, Dr. Ranjan Kumar Patel sir. So this is a copy of One Touch Pharma. So what's special about this book? Why there is a hype in the market? Yesterday the book got launched and it got sold within within five to ten minutes. So what is so good about the book that you need to have it? So let's get on to the details, guys. Okay. So this one touch pharma is written by Sir Ranj uh, Dr. Ranjan Kumar Patel, sir. And see the first line that he writes is very good. Hard work can compensate for your intelligence, but intelligence can never compensate for your hard work. Means you need to continue to work hard. It is the years of hard work of sir that is able to concise pharma in such in just forty two page. So you need to work hard for anything. Now coming on, guys. The main point of the book that theory in just forty two page. Uh, all the images that can be asked in three pages. Drugs of choice in six pages. Then all the antidotes like N-acetylcysteine or flumazenil and uh, all the antidotes have been compiled. All the new drugs and the previous year question. Beat NEET PG FMG INACT has been discussed, guys. And what is important, guys? Uh, like everything that has been written in a uh, red color is important. Why? Because it can be asked in an exam. So that you need to know. So this is the uh, various abbreviation that has been used in the book. So we'll see how this abbreviation you will come to. So see, this is the content of the book. So you have all the chapters starting from general pharma and ending with uh, ending with the immunomodulator. So we'll see few sample like uh, anti cancer drugs and blood. Okay, so let's let's see how does it help you. Okay, now coming on to the anti cancer drug. If you see the anti cancer drug, like this is one of the most dreaded thing that you need to remember the side effects of the drug. So you see in the image based uh, everything like the neuropathy that is paclitaxel, vinblastine, hemorrhagic cystitis that is cyclophosphamide and ifosphamide and ifosphamide is even greater than cyclophosphamide. All the things like SI uh, cerebellar toxicity you can remember cerebellar C for cerebellar C for cytarabine. So everything has been so concise and you see how do you treat the anti dot guys I think this this uh, everyone knows like uh, cyclophosphamide hemorrhagic cystitis uh, treatment is mesna this leucovarin also known as folinic acid so you can see guys everything has been so beautifully compiled so that you don't need to move here and there everything is there for the last moment revision so this will help you a lot in the last moment revision guys and it would be useful for all the exam going aspirant and also one uh, like second year student aiming for your viva exam so it would be a, it would be a great book now guys coming on to the anti cancer drug like uh, where does this act so we have non cell cycle specific cell cycle specific and miscellaneous drug so you see some of the things are uh, marked in marked in red like vinca alkaloid how does it act like it it, in, it inhibit the microtubule polymerization then taxel they promote guys okay so example is paclitaxel and the docetaxel now see this is very important sir has marked in ret retinoic acid when we read this is this was used in guys aml m3 i think when we discuss our path we have discussed guys and that is pml rara translocation in our liquemia video we have and for treatment guys what was the treatment that was all trans retinoic acid atra so retinoic acid is the treatment of choice you can see how beautifully it summarized the side effect of asparagine is the drug that is used in treatment of leukemia okay so all the things have so beautifully been uh, uh, written in the book so that it it makes it easy guys for you to revise now see hydroxyurea treatment of choice for sickle cell disease because it increases the hbf so now coming on to the chapter of blood if you see the chapter on blood, so you have oral and parenteral. So you have a uh, parenteral direct thrombin inhibitor, oral direct thrombin inhibitor. That is uh, dabigatran. So antidote of dabigatran, oral 10A inhibitor ka antidote. Now coming on to warfarin, it blocks the vitamin uh, 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 VKOR. Now if you don't remember VKOR, let's come to the abbreviation of the chapter. So that will tell you what is VKORC. VQR is vitamin K oxidoreductase. So means it inhibit the enzyme vitamin K oxidoreductase. Means all the factors that vitamin K makes. Can you recall that is two seven nine ten. See they have, uh, it, uh, the book has already given clotting factor two seven nine ten and anticoagulation protein C and protein S. See what is the side effect? It can cause skin necrosis due to protein C and protein S. So these are the questions that may be asked even in your exams. 
but also the book is very important for second year now coming to purple toe syndrome so do you see antidote antidote is uh, protamine sulfate so this is important guys renal failure guys so do you see everything where you don't require the drug monitoring so everything that you need to know has been compiled in a page so this will help you recall easily and will make the pharma concise one of the most dreaded subjects everyone says it's very difficult to remember it's volatile so this notes will uh, make it less volatile when you revise it again and again so guys go and get get your copy it's one it's very useful book so and thumbs up to dr ranjan kumar patel for making pharma so easy it's it's his year of hard work that the book has been compiled to just 42 pages thank you sir once again Happy learning guys. If you like the content guys, please like, comment and share and subscribe to the video. Happy learning.